I will give you guys a situation that a zero to a zero is not equal to one. Okay, let's take a look of this limit. We take the limit as x goes to zero plus, and let's look at x for the base. But for the power, I will have one over the natural log of three x. Right, like this. First of all, let's verify that this is indeed a zero to a zero situation. Right. So let me plug in zero plus into this x and that x. So we will have a zero for the base, and then one over ln of three times zero. And because we are talking about natural log, so we actually would like to indicate the zero plus right here, right? And technically, I should do the same right here as well. Okay. So now we see that the base is zero. No problem with that. But here. The denominator of the power ln of three times zero plus. This is still zero plus. No problem that. But what's ln of zero plus? Let's take a look of the graph real quick. Ln x looks like this, right? And when x is approaching to zero from the right hand side, you see that the graph goes straight down. That means ln of zero plus is negative infinity, right? It goes straight down. So we will have one over. This is negative infinity. But anyway, it doesn't really matter that much because one over any kind of infinity, you get zero for the power, right? But we need to have the zero plus because ln is not defined with negative numbers. We are not in complex analysis, right? But anyway, this is in fact a zero to a zero power situation. Determinant, and now. Let's try to figure out what's the limit right here. Okay, we will do what we did last time. Let's look at the x right here, and note that the hard part for this is that the base is a function, the power is also a function. We don't like that too much, but we can rewrite x as e to the natural log of x, right? Because you see, e and ln cancel each other out. That's so nice. So if I can write X in terms of e to the ln x, the base will be just the nice number e. We like it much better, all right? Anyway, this is going to be the limit as x goes to zero plus. This x is that, namely e to the ln x, like this. And don't forget, we still have to raise that to the one over ln of three x power, like that. Okay? And now we see that. We are just going to multiply the powers together, and here are the variable parts, the function part. The base is just the number e now, and we'll have to take the limit. And now here's the technical thing: when we have e to the something, because e to the something is a continuous function, when we take a limit of the continuous function, it's the same as saying the continuous function to the limit. All right? In another word, this is what we'll do: we will have the e right here first, and then we will put down the Limit with this right here, right? So let me take the limit, right? Let me just write down limit as x goes to zero plus, and we will multiply these two exponents together, isn't it? So it's pretty much just like this: ln of x times one over ln of three x, namely over ln three x, like that. Our focus now is to figure out what this is. Because we are just evaluating the limit of this, and then the result will just do e to that power. Okay, do a real quick check. Plugging zero plus into here, we get ln of zero plus, which is negative infinity. Likewise, ln of three times zero plus, we will also get negative infinity. That's good because we can use Laplace's rule for the infinity over infinity situation. Even though they are both negative, it's okay. So Laplace's rule in action. We will differentiate the top. Right, and then we will differentiate the bottom. I know I can change this, but doesn't really matter that much. This is equal to e for the base. We still take the limit as x goes to zero plus. I know this is the same as ln three plus ln x, but let me just do the derivative as how it is. All right. Anyway, on the top, the derivative of ln x is just one over x. On the bottom. The derivative of ln three x is one over three x, 
but by the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of that, which is just a 3, okay? And you see 3 and 3 cancel, we still get this. Now what? Well, 1 over x, 1 over x, they cancel each other out. So, all in all, this right here is just 1. In another word, we are talking about e to the limit of 1. The limit of 1, it doesn't matter what x is approaching to, it's always 1, isn't it? So, we are talking about e to the first power. In another word, this is nothing but that special number e that we like a lot. Alright? So, here is an example that when we have a 0 to a 0 situation, in the limit problem, we actually end up with something slightly more interesting rather than just a 1, alright? Anyway, that's it. And maybe I can give you guys a slightly challenge. Can somebody leave a comment down below with a limit question that 0 to a 0 is equal to 0, 0 to a 0 is equal to 2, and 0 to a 0 is equal to infinity, alright? So, three questions for you guys. And that's it. So good.